Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well, I hope you guys are safe, and I hope you guys are healthy. It feels very good to be behind a camera again and recording videos. I know for you guys, uh, it's really only been a week since my last video, but I've been so slammed with things to do for work that it just feels nice to allocate a little bit of time to do something that I really enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoy this as well. But that's neither here nor there. If you're coming back to the channel, I really appreciate your support, and if you are brand new, Welcome, and I hope you like what you watch, and I hope you consider subscribing. Today, I have a really quick pickups video for you guys, things that I've been picking up over the last two months, and I think there's something here for everyone. There's a lot of variety here, and without giving too much away, let's get right into it. Alright, and first thing is first, I'm sure a lot of you don't actually know what this shoe is. This is the Nike Zoom Pulse. This is the shoe that Nike gave to healthcare workers absolutely for free. In which, shout out to Nike, thank you for supporting your healthcare workers. This is a really good shoe. It's rather ugly in my opinion, I don't like the shape really at all. But, it is very functional, quite cool. And I mean, it uses Zoom technology and I'm able to actually walk around for quite a long time without my feet hurting too, too much. But yeah, over on the tongue area, you can see kind of like this Nike swoosh with like the little medical symbol right over there. I don't know if it'll actually focus. It is quite small, but yeah, very, very comfortable shoe. And I just decided to throw it in here because I thought it was kind of funny. All right. And next up is a boot. You guys know I absolutely love, 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 love my black boots. So here it is. This one I'm super excited for. I do count this as a grail. Super, super, super pumped to get it for a really good deal on Grailed. This is the Guidi 788Z with a Vibram lug sole on bottom. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these like from the Unsound Rags and Silver League crew. These are absolutely beautiful. This is made of a horse leather, so the leather is super, super thick. The, it has a branded zipper right on the back right there, if it'll focus. And it is just a back lace horse leather boot. Very beautiful, fits great. I got a size 10, I'm usually a size nine, but I did want to put an insole in there just to make it that much more comfortable, so I went a size up. Size 10. 788Z Guidi tank sole or lug sole. Absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to put these into outfits. Next up I have a pickup, like a vintage military pickup from a dude who's also on Inst who's on Instagram as well as YouTube. His name is Nick Picardo. He does really, really solid content talking about a lot of avant-garde and artisanal pieces. So definitely go check his channel and Instagram out. But this is what I got from him. This is a, what I believe is a Swiss, like vintage 70s or 80s Swiss military jacket, like shirt jacket, over shirt. Not exactly sure what to call it, but it is in this rain camo and from far away you can't really tell what the texture or print is, but as I get closer, you can really kind of see the different colors. It looks really cool on. I have a fit pic on my Instagram up right now, and I absolutely love this jacket. It is great for the fall if you want some light layering, but also does really well layering with other kind of military type of uh, clothing. If I got any of those details wrong about the jacket and you know better, feel free to put it in the comments down below and I'll pin your comment. I don't know everything, and please feel free to correct me if you see fit. Next up is from a brand that I'm sure you guys are pretty much all aware of. It's a wonderful, wonderful brand, and that brand is Staatsballet. The brand started by Avery Ginsberg and Kaylee McKenzie. A wonderful brand, very, very eco-friendly, very ethical, and that's a really, really big selling point for the brand. Here is the tag right there. This is from the Spring Summer 19 collection. The stones beneath the earth. This is their just black trouser. They do also have a brown version, but this one right here is just a plain straight leg, rather thin pant. 
fits absolutely amazing. Has contrast stitching actually, so if you can kind of kind of see it in the pocket a little bit better, but you can kind of see that the pant itself is black, and then the stitching is going to be this kind of brown. Very cool, rather thin, so I don't think I'll be able to get too much wear out of it now or as it gets colder, but definitely spring and summer gonna be the go-to pant. It was an absolute pain to get this on in, or on grailed. If you guys wanna hear the story of uh, a really horrible grail transaction, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and I'll do a little story time or something. This next few pair of pants are actually going to be all about the details. I love these, all of these pants equally. They are so beautiful and honestly just, I'm super happy to have them. First things first, got this pair, this first pair from my buddy on Instagram, Denim Cowboy. That's Denim Cowboy with two Ys. He does amazing work and does really, really good patchwork. And here they are. An amazing pair of black patchwork denim. You can see that there's different textures, materials, and different patterns on there. And honestly, they look amazing. Does amazing work. This is 100% cotton. Here are the tags. This is the Levi's tag. The denim cowboy branding. The white oak denim patch. And then a made in the USA patch. Really, really cool. I really love that he's able to do this with a lot of his stuff. A lot of his items are super, super well done, super cool, and yeah. I'm extremely happy to have this in the collection, and I'm also very, very happy that it's coming from like an independent person trying to do their own thing. So definitely support him if you like what he does. Next up is one, I know earlier I referenced like Unsound Rags and Silver League. This I got from one of the dudes that work there. This right here is a pair of APC, uh, APC denim, selvage denim. You guys know how much I absolutely love selvage denim. This one, the fit doesn't really matter because the fit was actually altered by a tailor to fit more of like a slim, what I consider a cigarette fit. So slim in the thigh and the knee, but then from the knee down kind of flares out a little bit. But what I love most about it is the distressing, like you can see the whiskering in the thigh area and then over here on the knee it has repairs. It is just so beautiful. Released hem. And all here it is on the other side, again with the released hem. And then over on the knee it's kind of reconstructed and reinforced. It is absolutely beautiful. The details are insane. And this is basically a solid testament to what your salvage denim can look like over a quite a long period of time. So, yeah, APC restructured denim. So very good and I'm so very happy to have this. It's a lot more skinny than I'm used to, but whatever, it looks good. And then last, but certainly not least, I have this pair of corduroy chinos, I guess I want to call them. They were made by the guy I bought them from. I actually let go of my Issey Miyake pleats because I was a little too concerned about how delicate they were that I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get something a little bit more durable, something that I won't have to uh, baby as much. And this was a pretty good trade-off. It kind of has a similar texture because it is corduroy, but this was made, from my understanding, by the seller, worn for years and repaired by the seller himself as well. I absolutely love this pair of pants. If you can kind of tell, it has this distressed and restructured texture to it and it goes all the way up and down the leg. It is beautiful. Now I did have to do some repairs myself because there were areas where I was a little concerned about it kind of coming apart, but I am very, very happy to have this pair of pants. They are absolutely beautiful and truly patchwork and reconstruction and repairing is just something that I'm so enamored with right now. But yeah, these fit kind of more like a slim and I wish I could tell you where to get your own pair. Unfortunately, this was kind of a one-off from the guy who made it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show you guys. Nothing too hype here. I think the most hype, quote unquote, hyped item would probably be the Guidi boots, I guess. But I love them nonetheless. 
yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you like things? Did you dislike them? Yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below or through my DMs. I'm more than happy to have a conversation. If there's any questions I can answer for you guys, I'm more than happy to. So just let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until my next video, I will catch you guys later.